this is my second part of assemble. The most often request I have is to compare two different versions of a model. Here in the case of updating a pricing exercise, you may want to see what has changed in the new version of the model. That each time I'm given a new Revit model, I will publish to assemble. And when you go into assemble, then you can see I've published two different versions of these models. One came to me in December, and one just came to us uh, recently. We're going to go into the workflow here, which is architect issues the different model formats and we've got really three steps three different parts we're going to do here before we bring this all together ultimately in Navis and Excel. Each model version is exported as a Navisworks cache file. Um, you do that each time you publish to assemble. So within Revit I'm um, publishing to assemble and at the same time in my add-in tools I am going to export a Navisworks whatever version you're working in. Within Assemble it comes in as that you can select the first file and then compare it to the second file. Now this is what's most important. In Navisworks you compare old to new if you're interested in getting blue to be new. If you do it in reverse then yellow is going to be new. But I always like to say blue is new, yellow is old, and red is what is unchanged when I color code. The Excel spreadsheets with Assemble, it isn't uh, need to be old compared to new. You can actually choose new, I'll choose my newest file, and then compare to the old. I just find that that works better. When you load the model in Assemble, you can see when there's more than one model you can compare it to. I'm comparing it to the older version, so I want to choose this one. And I always like to go right in and compare by level and by category. I just find this easier to look at and then I can either collapse or expand detail. And you can see here it's broken up by level and then I can expand. With each model um, you're, you're needing to have an NWC. But in the case of assemble where you have two models you can export one Excel spreadsheet that compares both we're going to need only one selection set or search set and that can be based on the original model. You'll just export and label these things as you need to. Typically we'll advise to choose to unselect uh, instances. If you uncheck it you're just going to see the variance of how many parts changed. The issue then is to create a, a Navisworks selection set. Same thing here you'd uncheck instances unless you want to get very granular. Remember, in Navisworks, we're going to open up what's old first. So here we're going to go in, open up the old file. That's a cache file. I want my NWC. And the second thing I'm going to do is open up a selection set. Now, this is uh, a little bit tricky because it's kind of hard to find. So look at this really closely. I'm choosing sets, manage sets. And in Manage Sets, I'm going to choose this icon right here. Let me just show you that really quickly. So I, I chose Sets, Manage Sets, and I'm going to choose this Import Export feature. Import my search set. And there I'm going to get my search set that came out of Assemble. Once I insert that, then in my selection set, I can even turn this off. But if you go into the selection tree, you'll see that it's broken out now selection sets that will match your Excel spreadsheet. I find this really useful. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is append the second file which is the new file. And in the new file I'm going to add my NWC that is the newer version of the model. Once I have that I'm going to highlight the old and highlight the new and use my compare tool most of these features I leave as default settings unless you have unique IDs that you want to compare differences in like in a mechanical room you don't really need to ch choose that. As it calculates this it's choosing everything new is blue everything old is yellow. So if you look carefully here at my caissons the outer jacket of that caisson is blue and the inner one was yellow meaning they increased the diameter of that very slightly. You'll notice that uh, geometry that may be changed in thickness will be shown thicker. It'll be blue. And the old one, the old thinner one, would be yellow. That's what makes this a little bit jazzy as you look at these models. And then anything unchanged is red, so you can disregard it. 
Now, when I go to my Excel export from Assemble, and again, I just export in Assemble right here when I compare. I'm comparing these two models, new against the old. And as it generates the uh, Excel spreadsheet, I typically like to uh, clean it up a bit before I hand it to an estimator. Anything deleted is red, showing the variance. Anything added is green. Looking at an Excel spreadsheet and a Navisworks model that match.